What's up guys, it's Android Knight and it is wear a hat like an ass Friday. So today I'm going to be looking at what is on my Nexus 5 and there's not really anything else to say so just enjoy the video. So the first thing we're going to run through is what is on my home screen. I'm using pretty much as always Nova Launcher. I know I've talked about this pretty much too much but it's for me the best launcher on the Play Store, really really customizable, really fluid and quick and it doesn't affect your battery life in the same way that a lot of other sort of smart launchers do. Um, so we're going to scroll all the way on the left we have got a Google Keep widget, then here we have got a Google Now widget. On the main screen I've got it pretty much blank, I've got the search bar, then I also have some folders here. And then here I've got the event flow calendar widget which I've been using for a while actually, this is probably my longest running sort of non-Google widget that I've actually installed and carried on using, just really really useful all your information at a glance and it looks really really nice. Uh, then here I've also got some folders and things going on. So what have we got? Up here we've got some streaming applications, some top 10 apps, root apps. This is just where I sort my applications for filming videos. So this is where I know what I'm going to film. So I've got some root apps coming up, a keyboard video. I've also got All The Cooks which is um, a new app. I haven't actually used it that much but I've started cooking a lot more because I'm living, um, living with a couple of other students so we need to start cooking. This just gives you a load of interesting recipes, so for example we can go strawberry scones, scones are always good, so you get a nice image there, nice interface, you scroll down, it gives you all your ingredients, you can hit shop which will add it to your ingredients list or to your shopping list, so then you can go to the shops and buy what you need, it has loads of nice directions, you can comment and things, I'm just going to go turn my laptop off because it's bleeping in the background. There we go, it's just a really useful application um, if you want to start cooking stuff. Uh, also got Puzzle Alarm, which again I've talked about quite a lot. Easily the best alarm on the Play Store in my opinion, primarily because you can use the NFC option to, uh, to turn the alarm off when you have to walk into another room or something like that to get you out of bed. Run Keeper, I've started jogging again and Run Keeper is a really nice way to sort of motivate yourself. About to open it up and show you. Uh, so you get your options here, you hit Go Running. It tells you how far you've ran, um, how quick you're doing miles, you can then share it to all your social media, things like that. I've also got a shortcut here, which if I just tap, it hibernates all your applications through Greenify, which if you want to save some battery, is really, really useful. Um, so social apps, I've got pretty much all the stock ones, so Hangouts, Gmail. Right, um, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Uh, where were we? We're in social apps. So yeah, Hangouts, Gmail, Instagram. Um, as I've talked about before, I don't use the Facebook application, because for me anyway, it absolutely killed my battery. I reinstalled the app um, yesterday just to see if it was still doing it and my entire phone battery lasted about six hours, which was me basically not even using it. So for me, yeah, Facebook definitely kills um, battery life, so I'm using an HTML5 app for that. Uh, Google Plus People, WhatsApp, phone, again, this is an HTML5 app to my Outlook account. Uh, then you have got Tweedle for Twitter, Snapchat, Skype and Mirage, which is this strange sort of Snapchat kind of clone thing which I'm going to try and review. The only issue at the moment is I can't convince any of my friends to try and use it because they all use Snapchat. So um, that's a thing, but it may not be a thing. Uh, next, we've got media. So we've got the normal ones, camera, Google Drive, a new file manager. I'll put a link to in the description just called File Manager, which is um, really, really nice. Pretty basic. Um, not basic, so, sorry. Pretty simple, uh, which is what you want from a file manager. But it's got all the little things that you need when it comes to managing your files. We've got gallery, photos, and downloads. Productivity, Google Keep, absolutely love Google, uh, Google Keep, absolutely love Google Keep. Uh, then we've got Sheets, Google Drive, AnyDo, which is my favourite application for sort of getting stuff done. So as you can see, you can have different, uh, different little sections. So like poetry stuff I need to write, I've got there. I've got YouTube apps, um, sorry, YouTube videos I'm going to do. I've got one for my Droid Gamers, um, which if you want to follow, there's a link in the description to droidgamers.com where you can read my articles along with a load of other people's to do with Android gaming, which is cool if you like gaming. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Cam Scanner, which I showed you in my top 10 apps, which lets you convert photos into PDFs. It's really, really nice. Docs, Remote Desktop, which lets you control your computer through your phone and a calendar. Then in listening, we've got Spotify, TED Talks, which I really like if you... Um, if you like watching or listening to TED Talks, the app is absolutely fantastic. I'll just give you a, a little taster 
of what you got. So you've got all your featured ones, you can go across to my talk, so the things that you downloaded, um, and then you can just search through them all. Some of them are in podcasts, some of them are in videos, and some of them are in both, so you can download for the majority of them, you can just download the MP3 and listen to it through the application. I've also got Play Music. I haven't actually used Play Music yet. I'm going to do an app review, which is going to be Spotify versus Play Music, because um, a couple of people have asked me about that, and they're basically the same service, just obviously slightly different. Uh, Pocket Casts, which I still maintain is the best podcast manager for Android. Um, I've actually just deleted all my downloaded ones to clear some space. But you can see here all the podcasts I listen to, and it's a really nice application. Uh, also BBC iPlayer if you're in the UK. In the web and video one, I've got Crunchyroll, which is a great app to let you watch anime if you like anime. Also got YouTube, BBC iPlayer again, Play Movies. In fact, iPlayer shouldn't be there. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping and remove that. There we go. Um, so yeah, iPlayer, Play Movies, ITV Player and Viral Light, which is the pop-out YouTube player, which I've talked about again in a couple of videos, which lets you download videos, um, pin them to your device, things like that. I was on a big coach journey yesterday, so um, I was watching videos through that. It was really nice. Um, then we've also got a shopping one, which has got the eBay app, Play Store, AdSense, which doesn't actually work for YouTube AdSense, which is irritating, but um, I'm hoping at some point it will. Um, same goes for the Google, An Google Analytics app. We've also got PayPal, RBS and Amazon. The RBS app is really good actually, it's the only good thing about being with RBS if you're in the UK. Uh, then games, we've got a few games here, uh, just messing around with them. Uh, Smash Hit, I think I've talked about before, love to play chess and Words with Friends. I've actually started gaming pretty much all the time. Um, when I game it's on my Nexus 7 so I've sort of demoted my Nexus 5 to just sort of a communication music -y kind of device. Uh, travel, we've got Maps Earth, the trainline.com, London and Tickets. Tickets is just a um, link to my Google Drive account, which I have a folder where I put all my tickets in. So that's just a nice little way of doing it. And as you can see, I do need to change the change the icon to fit with this icon back, but I haven't got around to it yet. Um, London, I've also talked about before, is really useful if you go to London a lot and you don't really know the tube network. Uh, reading, we've just got Amazon Kindle, Playbooks and Play Newsstand, three really good applications. All of them are free. Um, I might do an app, uh, an app. I might do a video on where to get sort of free books on Android if anyone's interested in that, because a couple of people have asked me. Um, so I'm going to start collating some of those applications together, and I might try and do a video on them. Then here we've also got another one which is just news. So we've got news and weather. We've got Pocket, which I absolutely love. Again, I think I mentioned this <clears throat> in one of my top ten app videos. It's just a great place to collate everything from the internet into uh, into folders and stuff, so you can get them later. Um, going across, we've gone through all these, so I've got it set, so when I press my home button, it launches all my applications, and I've got them sorted into these, um, into these, uh, I'm not sure what you call these, panels, I guess, in the app drawer, and set it to vertically scroll. So just run through again if there's anything else of interest. Uh, Bacon Reader, if you use Reddit, Bacon Reader is by far the best Reddit app for Android. In fact, it looks a lot better than the actual website, so um, Bacon Reader is a definite must-have. Uh, we've also got iPlayer Radio, which is quite useful. Buzz Launcher, I might do a video on some smart launchers and some customizable launchers, so that's probably going to feature in that. A couple of icon packs knocking around here. Uh, Cast Store, if you've got a Chromecast, Cast Store is really useful just for um, actually finding apps that run well on the Google Chromecast. Um, there's a lot more than there used to be. There's even quite a lot of games now, I think, although I haven't actually, haven't actually started doing that yet because I tend to just use the Chromecast for uh, listening to music or watching videos. Um, also Commander I talked about before, that's the app that lets you say Lumos for example and it turns your torch on, lets you customise voice commands. Uh, device Manager, another must have app, this lets you find your device if you lose it and also lets you wipe it remotely which is kind of useful security. Uh, Duolingo, really nice app if you want to try and teach yourself another language, I'm currently trying to learn Dutch and I'm failing dismally. Easy Voice Recorder, I use that occasionally to uh, record notes. For example, for my university last year, I had to memorise a load of old English poetry, which is an absolute fucking pain in the arse. But with Easy Voice Recorder, you can record it and then listen to it on repeat when you go for a walk or something like that. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Flex key. This is the keyboard I'm currently using. I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing a app review um, for all my favourite keyboards. Sorry, I just realised that two of those have just come up and that's from a phone call I just had which is slightly creepy um, but Flesky is really nice um, Steve says hi it's got a really nice system where scrolling through here um, scrolling up and down scrolls through all the selections 
all the um, what you call it, the auto correction recommendations, which is really useful. And I also like the way it looks. It's a nice looking keyboard. Uh, we've also got Greenify, which I've talked about before. A must have if you want to save some battery life. Uh, Google goggles, really useful for taking photos and then searching for stuff. Uh, Notific, I've started to use instead of AC display. So I'm just going to hit test just to show you what this looks like. As you can see, it's kind of similar. I think it looks a little bit nicer and it tends to be a little bit quicker, I think. Um, it's got a nice option where if you swipe left, it cancels it and then you cancel the last one. It just turns the display off, which I really like. And if you go the other way, it just opens the application for you. Um, pum pum pum. OI Share is kind of useful. I use it for my camera that I'm recording this video with. It lets you remotely control it for photos. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for video, but um, yeah, it's quite nice for the photo option. That's quite cool. Uh, PayPal, we talked about. Pi Control, I have actually stopped using completely, so I'm probably going to uninstall, but that lets you have that nice Pi um, from the bottom or side of the screen if that's the thing you're into. Um, what else have we got? I think that's pretty much it guys. Google Rewards proves pretty useful, um, useful, useless actually. I've got maybe two surveys in the space of about three months. Um, but that was an interesting idea, you get money for doing surveys, but it's sort of fallen flat a little bit. Uh, what else we got? Softkey Z, which lets you customise your soft keys in the manner that I've got them at the moment. Uh, Spottycast lets you use Spotify with the Chromecast, because currently Spotify doesn't natively support it. Um, what else have we got? A couple of Tasker apps, Tasker here, and Auto Voice and Auto Remote, which I'm currently trying to use to set up a couple of automated things, which I will probably touch on in a later video if I actually get them working. Uh, Tholitis, I've talked about before, this lets you dim wallpapers, and it's one of my favourite apps. So you pick an image, so say the current wallpaper, and then you can apply a dim and a blur to it, and then hit the tick, and that saves it to your gallery. This works in kind of the same way as Musi, which is that live wallpaper that I always bang on about. Uh, I'm just going to close that out. Uh, what else have we got? Timely is another alarm application. Looks really cool, but um, hasn't got the same functionality as Puzzle Alarm, so I tend not to actually use it. But it does look really nice. You can scroll. How's it you scroll? Do you drag? I can't remember. But it looks really nice. It's got sort of this water effect going on. But I think Puzzle Alarm is still, for me, the best alarm app for Android. Um, got UCWW, which is really useful if you want to start skinning stuff. It's ultimate customizable clock widget, I believe it's called. Um, but that's a really nice app if you're into widgets. I'll probably do a top five or top ten widget vi uh, video as well at some point. TV catch up, really useful if you're in the UK um, for watching live TV and catching up. Wake clock detector, I've talked about a few times. This just lets you find out which applications are hammering your battery and lets you greenify them, which hibernates them away and saves the battery for you. A um, couple of exposed modules and things down here. I'm going to do a video on my top 5 or top 10 exposed modules as well, just for you guys who want to customise your Nexus 5 that little bit more. And that is pretty much it, I think, guys. Uh, if we go across to games, a couple of others here. Dead Zone, I'm still playing on here. Piano Tiles is really cool. I haven't actually shown this in a video, at, video yet, I don't think. But if we go Classic, it's going to be so difficult on the phone. When doing it through a camera, you just tap and I should have the sound on for this, but it plays a tune and basically the idea is to do it as quickly as possible without hitting the white. Kind of Guitar Hero like, it's really addictive, but it's a good game. Okay, let's see here. One of the questions I get a lot is where I get my wallpapers from and I'm starting to pretty much just use wallpapers from icon packs. So you can see here, if I scroll across, I've got a bunch of different um, icon packs installed. You've seen my top 10 video. And most of them, for example, if you go into Cry 10, has a selection of wallpapers. If you scroll across, and it's got this really nice material kind of UI, which is pretty pleasing. But it's got a bunch of these wallpapers, and they're all really, really nice. And pretty much all of the icon packs that I've talked about in my previous videos have this wallpaper functionality. I'll put them all in the description below for this video if you want to find it. And it's just a really nice way. You can even see here, Click UI just gives it straight away, as does Moonshine. So it gives you a bunch of these wallpapers, and you can just hit to set it. And then a lot of these I will edit using um, the Tholitis app just to dim them out a little bit so the icons come forward. But that's where I get the majority of my wallpapers from. If there's wallpapers and videos that you really want, I will try and put them up on my Google Plus profile. Um, but there's quite a few that I sort of lose because I use them a bit and then get rid of them. But I'll try my best to give you guys the wallpapers that you want. Hope you enjoyed that guys. If there's any other apps you want to know about or anything that I do on my Nexus 5 that you want to know about, just comment below. 
Also, like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't seen before. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. All the links to that will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.